Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to install the hitless. People of all mechanical abilities can follow along step by step and set it up. If there's any part that you're not clear on, refer to that section in our extended installation video. So if your bike is mechanically sound, give it a quick wash and let's do it. Open the kit, unpack everything, get everything laid out and ready to go. Round up a handful of tools. You're going to need a 6, 8, and 10 millimeter socket. You're going to need an 8 and a 12 millimeter wrench, 5 millimeter Allen wrench, a sharp pair of pliers, a hooked pick, and it's always nice to have the manual handy. Crack the radiator cap. Loosen the bottom water pump screw. Drain all the coolant out of the bike. When you're sure you got all the cooling out, uh, tighten that screw back up so you don't forget it later. You're going to need to drain the oil. We're going to do this with the bike on the stand. So drain the oil completely. Then remove the seat. Uh, and then take off the tank. Leave the shrouds right on the tank. Then remove the kick lever. Pull the pipe springs, remove the screw out of the pipe and the screw out of the frame, wiggle it and pull it forward, set it aside. Get rid of that hairpin and loosen the brake pivot. Uh, we're going to give you a stainless nylock nut to replace that hairpin. Let the brake pedal hang then pull off those little louvers. Uh, and then remove the left side radiator. There's three hose clamps and three screws that hold it on. Uh, then work your way around to the right side radiator. There's only one hose clamp on the water pump. Three screws hold it on. Uh, pull that. Then remove the linkage cover. And find a good sharp set of needle nose to remove those uh, JIS screws from the PV box cover. Next, you're going to slide in the pin to hold everything, then loosen that screw that holds the linkage to the valve shaft, pull the pin, lift up on the linkage, and unhook the linkage. Remove that collar. Now take the three Allen screws out of the valve shaft. The center screw on O3 and newer will have the little holder with it. Uh, then take the screws out of the pulleys. And there's nothing that you can mess up here in this PV box. There's nothing can make its way into the combustion chamber or the crank. So no, no fear in pulling all this apart like this. Uh, so then you're going to uh, line up the half moon cutout with that plate on the side. And then put your hand over the box and pull the shaft right out. Everything's laying in a puddle of oil there. Uh, so now grab a hooked pick, grab there's a washer and a long spring, and grab that left pulley. Uh, then you'll see we're grabbing the, the right spring and washer, uh, and then we'll grab the right pulley. And then the, in the middle is the uh, link lever. Those torsion springs usually stay right with it. So you got both torsion springs and the link lever. Uh, pull them out. Then just take a, uh, some paper towels and a screwdriver and just sop up that puddle of oil. Uh, just take a minute and do it. Now's a great time to replace that little shaft seal. Next, you're going to remove the 12 screws that hold the right side case on. So go ahead and loosen and then pull all 12 of those screws. Then you're going to hold down on the linkage and then grab the case, wiggle it off of the alignment dowels and then slide it right off the kick shaft. Don't touch the gears at this point. Keep your thumb down and go over to a bench. So grab a pen and a piece of scrap paper and mark the orientation of the gears in relationship with that flat spot on the case. Then lift up on the governor, lift the arm, 
pull it right up out of there. Go over to a bench up against a wall. Grab a little Allen wrench and compress that spring. Slide the pin out. And then you can take apart the governor. So set down the weights in the weight retainer. Pull the bearing stack and the and the rest apart. Then you can uh, oh mark the orientation of that pinhole on the shaft. That you're going to need to know later. And then disassemble the uh, collars and washers, bearings. Uh, so spread all that stuff out. If your bearings are toast, get new bearings. If they look like this, just get new bearings. They're like seven bucks a piece. Uh, so now you're going to remove all four of the Yamaha washers and the Yamaha springs. So set those aside. Now from the kit, uh, you're going to start off with the weight collar and you're going to put on a 0.8 millimeter washer. Then the bearing and then a 1.1 millimeter washer. The linkage collar, then you're going to put a second 1.1 millimeter washer then the bearing and the spring collar rides directly on the bearing and that's fine 125s have run like that forever next comes the spring shim washers for the desert kit we recommend starting with a total of 0.8 millimeters of preload on the spring and for the woods kit we recommend starting with a total of 0.9 millimeters of preload on the spring. If you have a choice, put the thicker of the spring shim washers on last. If you're running an older bike that's got the old style drive gear with no lightning holes in it, that spring cut is deeper. So run an extra 0.3 millimeters in your shim stack uh, and that'll put you on a level playing field. Okay, next you're just going to put slide the gear on the shaft, poke the shaft down through the spring and collars, through the weight retainer, back over to a bench against a wall. Pad your hand, line up the hole with the, the notch, and uh, you got to compress that spring and then slide that pin right in. So now take the governor and press the linkage bar there into the slot that the collar makes on the governor. Drop it down into the bearing, spin it, make sure the arm on the linkage is dropped down. Then set your magic marker mark so they're roughly horizontal. And then set the orientation of the gear according to your drawing. So you get the gear lined up, that'll help it mesh with the primary gears. To put the right side case on, hold down on the linkage arm, slide it over the kick start shaft, feel the dowels and wiggle it on, should go right on. You'll always feel a half a millimeter of spring loaded tension on the governor. That's normal. All bikes have that. So then put the 12 screws back in. Just make sure they're all showing the same amount uh, and then run them in and snug them up. Now you want to check all the power valves, make sure they're moving through their full range of motion. If they're not, give them a shot of lube, see if you can free them up. If that doesn't do it, refer to our other video, cleaning all the power valves right on the bike. So to install the hitless kit, grab the red uh, pulley first, slide the shaft in, through the the red pulley the right pulley let it stick out a little grab one of the long springs slide the long spring right over the shaft and kind of hook it on that holder plate then get a washer work it in between the spring and that holder plate and push the shaft a little further through let the shaft stick out a little past the washer then grab the red torsion spring uh, slide that red torsion spring over the shaft and then push the shaft through a little bit more. Grab the closing fork, put the closing fork in, slide the shaft through it, let it stick out a little more for the left torsion spring. Slide the left torsion spring over the shaft, 
push the shaft through a little more, then grab the other washer, slide that over the shaft right up against that stopper plate, and then let the shaft stick out, grab the other long spring, slide that over the shaft, and then grab the, uh, the left pulley, and you're gonna pull back on the spring, uh, and drop the left pulley into place, give the shaft a little turn, work it in, and then it'll go right into the cylinder on the other side. Line up the half moon cutout with the plate and everything's locked in. It should all look just like this. Uh, make sure the long legs of the torsion springs are inboard towards each other uh, and it should look just like this. For another look at this part of the installation, check our bench installation video. That gives you just another second look at it. The two shorter screws are for the pulleys. So put that screw in and then just back it off a whisker. Same with the left pulley, run that Allen screw in there finger tight and then back it off just a tiny bit. Rock the shaft back and forth, make sure it's working smoothly. Then take your fingers onto those linkages for the secondary valves and pull them out. Uh, you shouldn't feel any movement. Then feel again, make sure that the shaft is rotating smoothly and then you can snug those uh, Allen screws up. Once you get them snugged up, check that early range of motion again. Make sure there's no friction, that the shaft moves smoothly and then you want to double check again and make sure once you get it uh, in place for where they would be when they're closed, uh, then you want to move them with your finger again. If they don't move, you're good. They're closed. Everything is locked together like it should be. Uh, check it again just to make sure that the uh, everything moves smoothly. You don't feel any sh friction on that shaft. Uh, and then just check those secondaries, make sure they're all the way out. Now pull up on the center valve, grab a hooked pick, snap that long leg of the torsion spring around behind the pin, and same with the other side. Grab the, the long leg and snap it around behind the pin. Now that right there is the single most important part of the kit. Getting that action right there. Now put the longest of the three Allen screws in the center. That goes through the closing fork and snug it right up. Grab some pliers and carefully run the whole system through its range of motion. Now that is like glass. Oh, wait do you feel that on the bike. Now tighten those three Allen cap screws. You don't want to go crazy, but you want them tight. And there you have it. And that is a smooth operation right there. That's all there is to inside the PV box. Now hook up the linkage. So put the collar on the shaft and then hold down on the closing fork. Line up the arm of the linkage as though you were going to slide it right on the shaft. Then you need to lift up on the linkage just a little bit, about a millimeter or so, and it'll pop right on. Once it's on like so, you can just give it a little... Make sure it snaps closed and everything is bottoming out under spring pressure. Slide the pin in to lock everything. Put the screw through the linkage arm into the valve shaft. Tighten it up. Pull the pin. Put on the PV box cover. It's labeled up. The gasket has the cut, cut out goes down. Put that on, use the stainless shouldered hex heads uh, that come in the kit. Uh, so tighten that up. Now
Now you just got to put on the linkage cover. So run the screws in, tighten them up, and that's it for the engine. Put on the right side radiator, uh, the three screws that hold it, and the hose clamp onto the water pump. Then put on the left side radiator, the three screws that hold that, and you got three hose clamps on that side. Then get your little plastic louvers and put those on. Hook the brake pedal spring back up, grease up the pivot bolt, thread it on through till you feel it just start to come out of the frame. Then put on that stainless nylock nut, thread it through both, and then tighten them both down. Lock that nut against right up against the frame. Check and make sure your pipe O-rings and the coupler are good and clean. Start it on the silencer first. Get it going back a little bit and then line it up on the cylinder. Twist it, push it right back on. Reinstall that far pipe spring. Rehook up that close pipe spring. Run the screw back into the pipe and the other screw into the frame. Put on the Kickstarter. Tighten it up, grab the tank with shrouds, put the tank bolt in, shroud bolt in, tank bolt, second shroud bolt, rubber clip, fuel line, vent line, put the seat on, tighten it down. Now you just got to put the oil back in. We run 900 milliliters of oil uh, because when the bike's on its side with the right side case off, that's all it'll hold. So last but certainly not least, pour the coolant back in. And there you have it. Okay, now with the hitless installed, Ride it a few times. If you get the sense that you want it a bit faster or a bit slower, refer to our other video titled Adjusting Governor. Enjoy.